from the scripture reference is Mark 11, 25. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. That your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, I actually had something else prepared. I've been working on something for a little bit. And I came across this song and it, like jumped through my spirit. I'm like, Lord, are you serious? Like, um, is that the, you know, I always try to make sure that I'm in season and you know, what the Lord is doing. And, um, but I believe it is for today. Um, I'm sorry. Um, just real fast. Um, I believe that there's two seasons. I believe there's a season for us individually, and I also believe there's a season for the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying strategically in this hour is, you know. Pretty much, you know, I kind of heard a little bit when I was going out what Mom was saying about, you know, just really a time of favor for us this year and financial, you know, release. Um, and those are really the things that the Lord had spoken to me um, early, I guess, late November. The Lord had told me it would be a year of um, restoration, a year of uh, uh, even greater revelation, a year of favor. But then he also said it would be a year of great challenge because of where he wants us to go. And I read that scripture because I think sometimes we take God for granted to say, well, he's God, you know, he'll forgive me. But the, the, in the word, it always, in, in so many scriptures, he says, if you, All right. I will. If you. If you. Right. So there's a demand that he has placed right. on our lives. That we have to do some things in order for him to do some things. So this song is very personal in nature as far as your own individual life. And if you could just just give just do this for a moment. I want everyone to close their eyes. Everyone. And think of that person or those persons that have you captive because of unforgiveness. It could be our parent, it could be a sibling, it could be a friend, it could be a co-worker. But today the Lord says, let it go. So that he can release in you everything that he has promised. He will fulfill, not you, but he will fulfill it if you forgive. Give me a minute, Doug, here. Just like you did 
wanna hold that for I don't want it. 